Don't ever underestimate someone who has lost everything. Because when they get back up, they will be unstoppable. What's up, all my Take Talk peepages out there? I'm over here in Midway. And I had to go deliver some fillers for my Take the next right onto Geneva Drive, West Geneva Drive Lane. And as you can hear, you can hear my Google Maps telling me, Russ, you got to go this way. So I'm got, I got to go that way. But I'm on a dirt road that... Well, don't look like two cars. Continue for half a mile. Time. But yeah, I mean, it's nice up here. We know you're wrong. It's nice and warm. And the scenery is actually amazing. I'm sorry if you guys are getting the blue screen. I just don't like driving on dirt roads. <laughs> And not really my favorite thing. But oh well. It shit happens there, you know what I mean? Yeah, here's a bump. Uh, there's a bump. Sweet. Here's a speed bump. And another one. Uh. There you guys go. Yeah, we're up here in Midway. I had to come up here and just deliver some crap to my, well, not with my installers, but to the installers. Of course, that was after I got to work and had my boss pull me aside and rip me a new one. Well, sort of rip me a new one. 800 feet. Turn left to stay on Swiss Alpine Road. Yesterday, I came, uh, after I got to work and I was in a really, 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 really bad mood because I got Take the next left to stay on Swiss Alpine Road. I got a lot of shit to do, you know. And he was put. Quarter mile, turn left onto Homestead Drive. He was basically put me behind on my work because he had a lot of stuff to get delivered. So I basically, I ripped him a new one yesterday. And today he pulls me aside and says, "Yeah, it's very disrespectful. Why to talk to me? You know, and you must have been in a bad mood and blah 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 blah." I guess expecting me to apologize for basically on ripping the new one I put together, getting put for. And he could have done it and let me finish, finish what I was doing. But today he tells me, oh yeah, well, you know, uh, what you're doing isn't due to go out for another two weeks. And the first thing going through my head is, oh my God. Mile, turn right onto Carrie Lane. Like I said, the first thing going through my mind was, oh my God, you couldn't give me. Turn right onto Carrie Lane. He, that's the problem that my uh, production lead has. He, he doesn't give me a time frame in a quarter of mile, when stuff left, needs to be done. So I put myself in a hurry to try to get it done, and when he starts throwing me endless deliveries to get taken care of, it sets me behind and set me behind is not a good thing because then I, I put myself in a hurry and then I, I lose my temper a bit. But suffice to say, he deserved me ripping my new one. But like I said, today he pulls me aside, he talks to me, because you know, if everyone talks to me like that, I have to fire everyone. He didn't fire me. But he said, if everyone talks to me like that, I have to fire everyone. I didn't swear. I, 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 I mean, because I did, that's not right Take to swear. Next left onto 1050 North. But the way he sounded when he was talking to me today is that I swore at him when I didn't. Continue on 1050 North for three quarters of a mile. Yeah, you guys get to hear my Google Maps. So, 
Well, at least till I get to the freeway entrance. And then at that point, I'm trying to Google Maps off. There's nowhere to go from that point. This way, you guys get to see my the beautiful scenery I get to go to. Because I'm on my way to go re-deliver, well, get a refund on a gas cap for a box truck that we have that has no gas cap because I'm not the one who drives it. The last person to drive it before me put gas in the box truck and lost the gas cap. So, I mean, but that's besides the point. Like I said, I mean, he feels like, he's like, I really like you. And it's like, no, he don't. I know he's lying. He's my, my boss is an automatic liar. I mean, he, he, he's, he's one of those true Republicans, you know, the ones that like to deflect and place blame. He doesn't hold himself accountable for anything. Traffic circle. Take the third exit onto East 440 North River Road. Like I said, he, he doesn't like to hold himself accountable for anything he does. I mean, I myself, yeah, that's right. I, I, I'll admit straight up, I fucking, I was pissed. And yes, I ripped him a new one. I hold myself accountable for that one. And you know what? If I had a chance to do it all over again, would I? Oh yeah. I would still rip him a new one. Because there are things that he does that just really, really, really pisses me off. And it's been a long time in coming. Because he, he's been doing a lot of placing blame on things that are his responsibility that he's not taking accountability for. He sent me to wrong addresses on deliveries and then tried to blame it on our salesman. Which has been there longer than he has. And I, people like that just set me off. He had to feel lucky though because I'm a, I'm, I'm a Gemini. My, my, my good half was telling me, oh, just let it ride, let it ride. I mean, don't, don't get pissed off. Just let it all ride. That's no, all good. My evil half was saying, give him both barrels. Fuck him up. <laughs> so if I was to say, I only gave him one barrel of the double barrel shotgun that came from my mouth. Thank God. He probably would have fucking fired me otherwise. But you don't want to really piss me off because I will give you both barrels. I'll rip you up one side and down the other, and whether you like it or not, it's not my problem past that point. But I hope you guys actually enjoy the give or take about an hour drive that you're going to get some, some, some scenery as I go to return this wrong gas cap for the box truck. Keep in mind, when I bought this gas cap, I already knew that it was the wrong gas cap before I even bought it for the company. But I went Everton. That's my. That's the production lead's name. The one I ripped a new one yesterday. I basically knew that it wasn't gonna fit, but I went Everton to realize that it wasn't gonna fit. <laughs> so I gave it to him to put on the box truck. To just have him call me up and say, "Yeah, it don't fit." I felt like saying, "Well, no shit, Sherlock," but. I didn't. <laughs> I was, I'm just driving away, so chuckling a bit because, because, you know, I let him go to, the, to all the trouble finding out it doesn't fit. Instead of him actually just taking a look at the damn gas cap and saying, yeah, it's the wrong one. He said, I looked at the gas cap and I knew it was the wrong one automatically, but he told me to buy it. So I bought it. And then just to find out that, oh, yeah, he. He ordered one from Amazon, and it's coming from China. You know why we get all of our stuff from China? It's cheap labor. I mean, if you guys ever ever check this out, and you can, and I suggest you do, look up on uh, uh, things on YouTube or somewhere on the internet. It tells you about how iPhones are made in China. And how the, the company that makes iPhones 
They have netting around the whole building because their people are committing suicide because they're getting paid like a buck an hour to make iPhones. That tells you that it's really shitty there when they're actually underpaying their employees. I mean, so, so I hope you guys enjoy the scenery. Get to see some of the beauty in my in the state I live in. And if I'm able to, I'll try to do the same thing tomorrow. I'll, I'll just take my other mobile device with me, and I'll use that to do my GPSing. I mean, you're probably not going to hear my GPS anymore because it actually just shut off on me. So all I have is my TikTok going. But that shouldn't be a problem because I am getting back to the main road that I need to get onto to go back to Salt Lake City. That's right. You heard me. Salt Lake City. Well, see, I got a yellow turn signal. That means I can turn. <sighs> Let's see, am I going into what lane? What lane am I going into? Now, this guy thinks he's going to pass me. A douche and a fucking a GMC. They don't realize that construction zone, or construction zones have speed limits, and speeding in a construction zone gives you a double, a, a fine that's double. And as you can hear, I keep it in all those damn rumble strips. I hate those things. has endless road construction and I do mean endless I think what they're trying to do from what I can see on one side of me is they're trying to extend the, the, the um, freeway here so I guess it's better for the cars but in the process they're slowing everything down As you can see, we did, I just pulled up right behind two tankers that are going like massively slow, like 25 miles an hour. <laughs> well, and the guy in the GMC truck that zipped past me, I think uh, you guys saw it. He's the first line behind the, t the, the tanker. There we go. The guy that said my truck was nice enough to pull to the side. That was nice of him. Got a double there and another double in front of him. They're pulling a lot of weight. And the cool thing is, is the company I work for, since I drive my car sometimes for personal use for them, sorry, my personal car for use for the company, they pay for my gas, so you know. Sometimes I'm happy. Yeah, you 
hear me making noise. So. Yes, I'm trying to find that. Okay, the speed limit on this road is actually 65, which I am actually going right now. But these cars that are around me are like going like 70 to 75 miles an hour, which means they're speeding. But oh well, that's them, not me. I think that's how it is for almost every state. That people see a sign that says speed limit is 65, they go 75. And they wonder why they get pulled over. My lane's about to be closed up ahead from my sea. I hope you guys enjoy my scenery that I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you some good scenery, but it doesn't even want to work that well. We've got a lot of blood from roadkill on the road, though. Let's tell you that for sure. Like we're going to another slowdown. Yep, left lane closed ahead. I think it's funny that people are still on the right, even though the sign already said that, yeah, they're going to be pushed over to this side. <laughs> so <laughs> they're a bunch of idiots. Because they're going to cut into line. Oh, there's a okay. cag just cut in front of the cinema truck. And they wonder why they get crushed by the damn thing. Well, you guys get to get the, the, the slow scenic view of me driving. Sorry about that. It's out of my control. Like I said, you, you can get to see me drive all the way to O'Reilly's. That's where I got to go to the gas cap. Damn thing costs a hundred and five bucks for a motherfucking gas cap. Can you believe that shit? That's just ridiculous. But then, of course, then again, you know how it is. I mean, I worked for a warehouse where we dealt with nothing but Napa Auto Parts. They brought in $40,000 worth of gas caps. Literally, 40K in gas caps. And I think it was maybe like, 
ten dollars gas cap. I don't know. <coughs> Let's so if you do the math, forty thousand. And we had one day to put up all our, we had to pack them up and then put them in a big old uh, box and ship them back to Napa. COVID-19. I wasn't just doing that. I was also doing like motor mounts. Uh, I was doing uh, wheel hub assemblies. I was doing all that shit for Napa. Oh, by the way, heads up, don't buy shit at Napa. Because if you look at your other auto parts stores, you'll find out that Napa is going to charge you 15 bucks more for the exact same thing that other places will charge you. 15 bucks less. Damn, I'm speeding my ass off, ain't I? I'm going like 80 miles an hour, 165. <laughs> now I'm just coasting. I'm riding, I'm, I'm applying my brakes. I don't go so fast. My health doesn't help that much, though. I was saying I should go to Park Shitty. Park Shitty. I'm like, I'm going like 74. I think I was like, calling ass. And people wonder why they get into accidents. That guy just jumped from behind me, jumped in the opposite lane, drove in front, got in front of that car in front of me that's going like 80, and just jumped in front of him and kept going. And I was speeding at 65. Okay, I'm going like 68 miles an hour now. I'm going slower. But here's something for you, for my viewers out there, in case you're interested. I do have a YouTube channel. The link is in my bio, in case you want to check it out. I suggest you do because I do put some pretty interesting stuff on my YouTube channel. I don't really uh, do my deliveries on my YouTube channel. I do that on my TikTok page. It's just so much easier. I mean, I guess I could do it live on my uh, YouTube. I guess it wouldn't hurt. It's been, got I think, like a year, year and a half since I've done live on there. Like I said, my YouTube channel, the link's in my bio. In case you guys are interested in checking that out, checking that out. Look at going to, back to Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. And I'm going like 72 miles an hour and it's 65. That's right, I'm holding myself accountable for my speed. <laughs> Says that he also got me a white vehicle behind me. Not a cop. Not unless he's a, a, undercover.
All I can say is right now, when I get back to the shop I'm working at, I'll be able to build boxes because basically, uh, unless he has me small deliveries I can do in my car, <laughs> I can't do any other deliveries because uh, our installers took the box truck and they're up here in, they're up there in Midway, where I came from. I tried one of my installers that was riding his own personal vehicle to do all the do all the install jobs. He's saying that since he started working with this company, he's put like 13,000 miles on his car and hasn't gotten reimbursed for any mileage. I gotta say the same thing here. I only, got, I only get paid gas gas in my car. They don't pay for my mileage, which goes for wear and tear on my car. That thing's pretty messed up. They should pay for the wear and tear on my car. But, oh well. Shit happens, I guess. I hope you guys are enjoying being my driveline drive line partners here. Just remember, next time, guys, you gotta be my navigators. Come on, you're my passengers. You gotta be my navigators. This two you, hey Russ, man, go right, go left, go right. Be my navigator. <laughs> Thing, guys, man, you, you gotta hear this one too. You gotta wear your seatbelts. My passenger, you gotta be belted in. This is called click it or ticket, and I won't get that ticket. Of course, I'll give you guys some shit just because you know I can, and you guys are watching them. If you're watching, it means you're my friends on here on TikTok, which I love. So it's good to make new, make new friends and meet new people. I figure I'll probably get back to my shop about maybe around 10, 10, 30. Said if I can tomorrow, I know I'll be driving to Vernal, Utah, which is like a three and a half hour drive from my where I work at, to drop off cabinetry just to do three and a half hours back. And if I can get the uh, mobile home mobile phone holder in the box truck to hold the phone good, so I actually don't put a line down the center of my screen, I will, and I'll uh, 
live stream the whole trip there and brought it back for you. We just trust me, some of the stuff you see on the trip to Vernal, I, I didn't, I've never been there before. Yes, I've lived in Utah for a long time. I've never been to Vernal, Utah. <laughs> but some of the scenery you see, oh my God, it is so amazing. I mean, the beauty we have in our mountains is just breathtaking. As you can see, all the greenery coming up right in front of us. I mean, this is the freeway road from uh, Park City back to um, uh, Midvale, Utah. Not Midway, Midvale. Midville. Midway between who gives a shit? Fucking damn hell. Yeah. Okay, I shouldn't swear. I'm sorry. But tomorrow, like I said, I'll be driving a box truck to uh, Vernal. And I don't have no problem driving that box truck. At first, when I started working with this company, driving that box truck, I was terrified of that thing because that thing is just shaky as shit. You hit a little bump and you feel you, your, your butt lifts six feet off the seat before it goes back in for landing. <laughs> the semi truck would just, I don't know, get out of our lane. Oh, that's going to be hard to do, never mind. Because right now I'm going 42 miles an hour on this freeway. <laughs> What do you think of our mountains out there? I'm sure, I know other states have some, some better looking mountains than we do. But our mountains are pretty nice looking. We got bike trails, hiking trails, deer. Here's the funny thing, I'm not even using any gas, I'm just coasting at 78 miles an hour, just coasting. I just jumped up to 80. Riding my brakes to keep it so I don't fly down this hill. I don't want to, you know, lose control around a turn or anything like that because I'm going something called like Mach 10.
there. I curved my speed limit a little bit. Time to end up coasting all over again. I got right in my butt. But you don't see what I see in front of me. And he also don't realize that right in my ass. It's not a good thing at 70 miles an hour. So what he did, he did a multi-lane change, which is very illegal, and he's hauling ass. I'm trying to keep my limit between 68 and 70 miles an hour, and people are just hauling ass down this freeway. like 61 miles an hour. I guess it's four miles under the speed limit, but there's no one behind me. And all these cars in front of me are just hauling ass. The funny thing is I filled my car up before I went to Midway. So I had a little over a full tank of gas to see a little bit over. And I'm my needles at full tank. That is weird. I 
wonder if I can get a, a ticket for going the speed limit. So I got one guy on my ass right now. Oh, there's another road kill. I just gotta make sure I get back enough time to, uh, because my coworker, it's his birthday today, and we're gonna basically have to do a birthday thing for him since, you know, all my coworkers are actually really cool people. So we're gonna do a little birthday shindig for him. Sort of like they did for me on my birthday last month. That's what I love about drivers. They can't see, hey, it's a construction zone. Maybe we should slow down so we don't, you know, kill ourselves or other people. And yet they still want to floor it. Man, we got a, we got a Tesla in front of us. A Tesla. That's all right, though. I don't mind.
was just about Dr. Pepper. Yes, I drank Dr. Pepper. The doctor ordered it. I also got me a bottle of Fiji water. This is the only bottle of water I drink. The rest of that bottle of water out there is glorified tap water or it's more acid than water. And if you don't believe me, they're actually, I forget, I don't know what channel it is, but on YouTube, there is a channel on there that they do a acidity test on different bottled waters. And they found out that Fiji water is a lot more water than the rest of those bottled waters out there. And it's probably a lot more better for you than drinking just tap water. Because just because they say it's purified tap water doesn't mean it's good for you. Because those filters miss a lot of things inside of that and hurt your body. As you can see, we're getting closer into my next destination, which is O'Reilly's Auto Parts, to return that gas cap for 105 bucks. And then after I turn that gas cap, I get to go back to the shop and start building some cabinetry, which I'm going to actually enjoy doing because I got nothing else to do because I can't do no more deliveries. <laughs> Don't be wrong, we have, like, we have like a massive, I think it's like a uh, four foot by eight foot panel that has to be delivered back to the job I just came from. The only problem is, is I can't put it on the top of my car and deliver it. The wind would catch it and throw that shit in the traffic behind me. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to endanger other people's lives. I may be an asshole, but I'm a nice asshole. Exit I'll be getting off at is exit 10. You know, just to give you guys a little information about it. Exit 10 leads out to 280 East Fort Union Boulevard. And then I go there, I hit State Street. I go up State Street to about 8200 South to the Riley's there where I paid for the gas cap. With a company pay for gas cap that I'm getting a refund on. So basically, once I get to O'Reilly's, I'm going to actually end the live there. And hopefully, tomorrow, everything goes good. I will give you a three hour live of me going to Vernon, Utah. So you guys can actually see how beautiful actually the scenery is there. I think it's funny the test that got over in that lane, you know, on 280 East. 
and the lane I'm in also lets me off at 280 East. I got to slow down because I got me a Volvo in front of me. So I think it's a Volvo. Yep, it is. You know what they say about Volvos, right? The intelligent car for the stupid type of people. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that street sign in front of me. It says Winchester. So in case you guys are wondering out there, in case you guys are Republicans out there and think we're going to try to take your guns away, we've got a street named after a gun, which means, yeah, we have guns here too. Guns are everywhere. It's part of things. Then you just heard me beep at the car in front of me. <laughs> because it turned, it turned green and they didn't go. <laughs> See, I told you I was an asshole. <laughs> I'm just that special type of asshole that if you don't move your car, I'll honk at you. <laughs> See, I love it. It's fun. There are times I do enjoy my job. And there are times that I do not enjoy my job. I mean, my co-workers are amazing. I love working with them. They're great people. They're from like Spain and Mexico and Brazil. Besides me and another white boy that works there. But besides that, they're all great people. I've become their friends. They like to give me shit. I give them shit right back. It's part of having a very healthy and happy uh, relationship with your coworkers. Well, <laughs> that wasn't me. I didn't beat. That little moped did, though. Meet me. So I'm waiting for the red light in front of me to turn green so I can hurry my ass up and get to my next destination so I can get some work done. See, right now we're on State Street and somewhere. Like I, like I'll, I'll repeat this again though just, just for the newcomers out there I do have a YouTube channel the link is in my bio I think you like what I have on there because I put a lot of interesting stuff on there I just don't bot, I just don't put broadcasts about like the presidency on there I put presidency I put like January 6th committee I've put the 31 uh, white supremacists that got arrested in Idaho Trying to go cause a uh, riot at a uh, pride parade, as well as a lot of other stuff on there that might interest you guys. So, like I said, the link for my YouTube channel is in my bio. In case you guys want to jump over there and check it out, no pressure. If you want to check out my earlier stuff, where I actually used to video of me talking about the semis updates and see how I've progressed from just having nothing to sign my face to actually dropping in stuff in my videos as I made them to stuff nowadays that I do. I mean, and please let me know, let me know in my comments on my YouTube channel whether you like what you see or not. Because I do value you guys' opinions on my videos. It'll help me make my videos a lot better to make it so they're more, more pleasing for you guys. Because that's what it's all about, is making my viewers happy. And that's why I'm, I do my lives on this TikTok for my deliveries when I actually can. And remember, is that I do it for you guys so you can actually see the state I live in. You can hear my irritating but sometimes entertaining voice. Realize that I'm a complete and total asshole, but... Not all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I'm actually pretty nice. <laughs> I've been pretty nice this whole time, basically. 
you heard me talk about how I ripped, I ripped my, my boss a new one yesterday that was for you this live. And then how today he had a nice little confab with me saying that I was out of line for the way I talked to him, making it sound like I swore at him when I didn't. Saying that, oh, he really likes me and reminded me about this guy named Caleb that used to work for us. I guess ripped him a new one and he got fired. Caleb guy did. And now he doesn't want to do that to me because he likes me. But yet he still treats me like shit. Let's put it this way, the, uh, pr the production floor manager started out as the lead installer, one of the, one of the lead installers, basically, and then he got promoted, and I think he is actually letting the power go to his head, because lately all I ever see him do is sitting on his computer doing nothing that has to do anything with what we're doing. Somewhere I know that I just don't know where. <laughs> I'll kill up this rally once. That's not it. There it is. Now I heard. See, it had a good driver. Sorry about the whole uh, bouncy around thing. My my new little phone holder thing is not really that good. But you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you next time I do it live. Bye.